things, but um, so this is my liquid syllabus. And I want to point out that when students get it before the class starts, they would actually only have these two links available. All of this stuff here, I, I publish those pages after the course starts because I don't want to overwhelm them. This is my welcome video. Hi there, I'm Michelle Pekansky Brock. Thanks for taking a few moments to check out our liquid syllabus and for watching this video. I want you to know just a few things about me before we get started with the class and start learning together. First of all, I am a teacher at heart. I love to teach and I really love to teach online. So I wanna be sure that you- I'm not gonna play that whole thing. Um, the point here is that using a phone to record a video, going somewhere out in my backyard, you'll see Frank's out in his backyard also. Um, taking students to like, you know, a non-academic space is a really simple way to show yourself as a real person. Uh, in some of my quick videos, you know, my, my students see my dogs running around the background, and I know a lot of you are doing this, but I really want to stress the, the idea of using these brief and perfect videos, even if they're just two minutes long, three minutes long, interspersed, sprinkled throughout your course, they bring wonderful things to a student's learning experience. Um, so how this course works, it breaks it down. It gives them everything that they need to know. We are not going to meet in Zoom. That's one of the number one questions students want to know. I'm taking an online class. What does that mean these days? My commitment to you, um, I have a wisdom wall here, which is actually a video that shows uh, comments from past students giving advice for my future students. So this is an opportunity for my students to hear my commitment, but when they listen to my students' advice for them, they're going to hear things like, Michelle will get back to you quickly. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. And those are cues that really reinforce what I'm saying. That's how we start to build trust. So the wisdom wall is another one of those elements, um, humanizing elements. And Donna has asked a question if I recorded that on my phone. I absolutely did record it on my phone. And I use this little tripod, um, it's bendy. And so I put my phone on the tripod and I can wrap this, usually find something to wrap the tripod around to hold it nice and stable so I don't have to worry about holding my phone. A teaching philosophy that stresses diversity as an asset. This is the pact. I want my students to know what I will expect from them, but I also wanna know, I want them to know what they can expect from me sending the cue that I am in this with them, that I am a learning partner, um, an equity statement. This is my week one success kit where I lay out the first week. I've got this little graphic here that shows them what's gonna happen in the first week. And it's also down below in writing. So one of those will resonate more effectively with different students. And I have some tips here, you know, about how they can go about structuring their week. And I say, if, or take a break on Saturday and Sunday if you've already completed that stuff, right? Stressing that taking breaks is really a great thing to support your learning. So again, it's about transparency and really setting students up for success, letting them know that I want you to do well. That's why I'm here. 